So this week, uh, we have some more YouTube news, but this this news is very. Um, we didn't put it as the as the running story. Um, so YouTube announced a new anti harassment rule, and with this, they removed a, quite a few videos. One included in, in the removal was iDubs TV content cop on Leafy. Leafy is here. And the community got pissed, okay? Because they started purging these videos because they're quote unquote harassment and bullying. You know, these are these are criticism videos. That's what they are. Well, and, and, and it's not I mean, sure it's harassment technically, but it's playful harassment, you know? It's it's teasing type harassment. It's not like aggressive or mean harassment. There's there's a yeah. difference. It, it's meant for comedy, and it's not really like it, it's different. It's different than like giving someone a swirly. It, it's not the same kind of harassment. It's not that same mean, just because you hate them kind of stuff. It, it's with the intention of good, which is humor. Yeah. So it, it it's a little. It's nauseating that they would choose to remove that. Like I could see a video. There was a video that Leafy did um, a long time ago, back in 2014, and the video was there was a special kid, and he had a um, uh, something about a car or whatever. He had his hat or something, and, and someone went up and bullied him, and then Leafy made a video completely wrecking this kid, bullying him, and and he got a lot of slack for that. Those are the videos that should be removed, not the content cop pointing out the mistakes that these bullies are doing. Like I, when Leafy was here was big. I, I watched some of his videos, didn't really pay attention to it because I just couldn't get into his content. Um, but you know this these new rules. Like though I tweeted this on Twitter, um, and I basically said YouTube. Don't remove YouTube shouldn't be removing already established videos that have been up for more than a few years that have millions of views. Like content cop is one of those things that people look forward to because Lee IDubs does a very good job putting these putting those those together. And I just feel like it's like a giant middle finger in the in, in IDubs' face from from YouTube. I don't know. It really pisses me off. But but um yeah, no, they're they're hilarious though. I I I really like his content cop videos. They're they're so funny. So it's just it's a it's disappointing that YouTube is choosing to take stuff like that down. I I feel like this could really change what YouTube is, and I think it will remove a lot of their watch base. You know, a lot of the people that go there for watching videos because they won't find the content that they want. Which is funny stuff like iDubs. So anyway, um, yeah, I think YouTube is going to catch a lot of flag for this. I can't foresee this being a long term, or maybe it will be. Um, but they've been in the, in the news a lot. I'm I'm praying to God the next week we don't have another YouTube story because like this is a pain in everyone's ass. I'll tell you what. Um, seriously, you know. I mean, they're probably making the right move by doing it also you know, one after another so that it kind of nullifies I made that point last the episode. outlash. I made that point last time, Isaac. Yeah. Are you stealing my, my points? Uh, 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 uh. You didn't think I'd catch up on that, did guys. you? Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching today's episode. Um, I'm gonna, <laughs> I, I'm a head out. <laughs> I am a head out. But, um, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's definitely interesting. Um, so, Bertie, do you watch? Have you ever seen an iDubs video? Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, you like his, you like his stuff. Yeah, I think he, he at least puts a lot of time into his stuff, like enough time so that it's worth it. That they would at least, um, I don't know, have some sort of system where he can kind of communicate with YouTube instead of just like, nope, taking it down. <clears throat> well, I think a lot of people in the community really enjoy his content because you got to so he uploads a few times a year. And with all those uploads, 
they get millions of views, if not tens of millions of views. Like I remember the Keemstar uh, content cop, and then the um, the Rice Gum content cop. Like he 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 made a song with the Rice Gum one, and it got like seventy six million views. So this guy, it's not like this is a small YouTuber. This guy Wait, is didn't huge. he make a diss track? <laughs> yeah, it got over seventy five million views. Pretty pretty devastating news for the community, but um, I I mean I don't know. Let's hope that YouTube puts the video back up. Uh, one of my videos actually. Uh, my latest, my latest Reddit video, uh, that I made uh, back in July, June or July, it got eight thousand views. It was like being pushed in the recommendeds. Like I thought the video was gonna go viral, right? It it had been up for a week. It had eight thousand views, and it was like it got like three hundred views, like an hour or something, something ridiculous. And then YouTube emailed me and they said your video has been removed. And you have been hit with a copyright, uh, not a copyright strike, with a uh, community guideline strike. I'm like, what the hell is this for? So they told me that I had um, been reported for being offensive in this video. And then I, I watched the video about 10 times trying to figure out where the hell was I offensive in it? I couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. Well, I said the word retard twice, and it was to these idiots that were like friggin' um, they were lighting fireworks off into Gage, the garage. Watch out. You're gonna get us taken down, Gage. I know they were lighting fireworks in their garage, okay, under under a, a beer box, and I called them retard, and my I mean, channel. <laughs> so you basic- used some unfavorable language. I, I think I think you called words- them you called them some very not nice words. I but, think words like retard, you know, it, it's it's a prime example that words change over time and yeah, yeah. they need to realize that. Well, I could have you know, been saying it was retarded. used in the same sense it used to be. Yeah, well, yeah, but they were just idiots. And well, anyway, I, uh, I, I, I got in contact with YouTube through one of my clients who had a huge channel. And um, I basically, I told them, I said, hey, this is, what's going on here? So they they agreed after about five weeks of going back and forth, they agreed to reinstate the video. But they said it would be age restricted, which means that only people with a logged in with an account eighteen and older would see and be able to watch the video. So I said, Okay, fine. At least the video is gonna be up and at least a few people will be able to see it. My views went from getting three hundred an hour to nothing, like zero on that video per hour, nothing. And since then, I've got over 20 views on the video since July. So this video that very well could have gone viral didn't. So then I I saw, so the whole, um there was a new button next to it a few weeks ago. Repeal the age restriction thing. I repealed it and they took the age restriction off. I'm like, what in the hell is going on at YouTube? Seriously. <laughs> so the person that thought that there was something wrong with the video, then put it back up. With age restriction, and then someone else watched it six months later and determined that it didn't deserve to be age restricted, that it was fine. So a video that very well could have had over 100,000 views got shut down. (laughs) What in the hell is going on at YouTube? I have no idea, but at that point I was like, this took me two weeks to make. I didn't feel like creating any more content. Like, that, that hurt. That stings. Like when you work so hard on a video, like you're excited for it to actually come out and then it start actually picking up steam and then all of a sudden it gets taken down from YouTube, but then reinstated. But then six months later, they determine that it doesn't deserve age restriction. Like Isaac, does that make any yeah. sense to you? No, I, I can understand your frustration. I mean, I definitely can't level with it because I'm, I have never been put in that place, but I can understand why you're frustrated. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know what happened, but um I was pissed and I didn't know what to do at that point. I was tweeting people. I was It's not as bad though. One of my friends, the Recon Jacob, uh he created an animation and he so he had a ch- he, so he's had his channel for years. A lot of his videos have over 100,000 views. He had this one video that went super viral. And it was like 
top 10 worst YouTubers or something. And the video got over 3 million, well, 2 million views or something like that. I think it was 2.8 or something. So anyway, his channel went from like 4,000 subs to over like 31,000 subscribers or something overnight. And um, about three years later, he created this Halo animation because he's, he's a huge ass Halo fan. And he created, uh, no, no, no. It, he it was started out with Halo and then he made a Skyrim animation. And it was totally unrelated. It was like Elder Scrolls Six trailer re- reveal, uh, reveal, and it was like a it was a parody. It was an animation. So, um, Bethesda, this video went viral and ha- had over two hundred thousand views in the first week. So then Bethesda sees this video, and one of the head honchos at Bethesda saw it or something, and they left a comment on the video with the official verified account. And he was like fangirling on this. Like he got so excited. The <laughs> same day, Bethesda took down his video for copyright. Oh, what the hell? Well, but here's the, the, here's the thing. has been known for being kind they of a scummy They terminated company. his channel. His, <coughs> his channel was no more. He ter- They terminated it. So, <coughs> sorry. So he... He was really, he didn't know what to do at that point. So I, I tried all I could. I contacted my contacts at, um, at, uh, uh, BBTV and, um, and some other companies affiliated with, uh, YouTube. And in the end, he, it was two weeks after his channel got terminated. Um, he contacted Bethesda, uh, directly. Cause this, this, um, there's a huge Elder Scrolls channel has like 2 million subs or something. And this guy reacted to his video. So was, that that video started getting hundreds of thousands of views like a day, and his whole channel got deleted, terminated, and um, they co- he contacted Bethesda, and they um they reinstated it after three weeks. But that's another like YouTube has such a terrible content ID system. They have such, like any so I could go if I wanted to, and submit a copyright claim on anything. And there's a high chance that it would get accepted. Like this one guy uploaded a Minecraft one of the, the one of the sound sounds in Minecraft, like the the theme song da 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 da. You you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying. And yeah. he copyright claimed over a hundred thousand videos that you that had that sound in it. He made two million dollars a day, and YouTube sued the shit out of him because he didn't own the he didn't own the music. And he did this, but that's a totally different thing. But that just that that kind of to go and expose how you how shitty YouTube is because not only are they affecting these huge ass creators like Dubs, they're affecting the small creators like myself, you know, and my friend the Recon Jacob and hundreds of thousands of other creators out there. I think that's all I got to say. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done uh, ranting. <laughs> okay, <laughs> rants are good. That's a good thing. 